Hey you guys, so I am here today to show you all of the products that I have accumulated over the course of about two months, about two months. I wanted to wait until I got everything in to show you guys. Now, I'm still waiting on one product which is going to be um, from a small business owner. I uh, love my fro, I believe is her name of her company and she's sending me some hair products to review but we're gonna go ahead and um, go ahead and show you guys what I have right now. Um, I will put everything below in the description box not prices, but basically reiterating where I got everything from. And I will try to, as we're going through everything, I will try to let you guys know how I plan on using the items. Um, looking at it, some of the stuff I've used before, it's, it's a half and half, okay? But I will have a separate video coming in about, I don't know y'all, I will hate to give you timelines now, but there will be a video. Just know that there will be an official video regarding my updated regimen because things are gonna have to switch over since my hair is a little bit shorter. Now, this is a twist out, um, frizzed out now, but I'm getting ready to set my hair in perm rod. So let's just go right in. I just got some of these today, so I'm hella excited. I haven't even looked at some of the new stuff I just got today. Um, so Oriba Goody I got from Amazon. Hollywood Beauty Carrot Cholesterol. Now, I'm going to be doing a comparison video with the Hollywood Beauty Carrot Cholesterol along with the Queen Helen's Cholesterol. That's coming up fairly soon. Not sure how I'm going to upload these videos. Uh, so, you may have seen that comparison video by now. You may not. Next up is a um, product by a local, um, a local young lady, The Curl Game. She gave me three products to review. We have her Moisture Shock Deep hydrate, Hydration Lasting Moisture. And I don't know if that's gonna zoom in, y'all. I do apologize. There we go. Excuse the lighting. This is made with rice water. Yes, a deep conditioner with rice water now. Oh, girl. First of all, when I, I met her at um, a hair event here locally, when I walked past her, I was like, I smell conditioner. And I turned around, her curls were popping. And I asked her, I said, what do you have in your hair, young lady? She's like, oh, it's my own hair products. I was like, do tell, please. <laughs> so I introduced myself and um, this smells good. Oh yes, it smells good. That smells really good. I'll probably kill half of this in one sitting. Again, this is a deep conditioner. And I have her styler slash detangler slash daily moisturizer made with marshmallow root and rose hip. Love that. And then I have her hair oil. Love this. So what I plan on doing is I'm going to try my best to, of course, it's going to be an all in one video, but I'm definitely going to do a style with her oil and um, with this leave-in since, since she states on the container that you can use it as a sightler. All right, so we have that. <laughs> I'm laughing at something here. Along with the Amazon order, I got the Biotin Shampoo um, made for men and women. It says comprehensive topical treatment infused with biotin, pro-vitamin B5, 11 nutrient rich botanicals to remove blah blah blah. Okay, so sorry y'all. I was debating whether or not to get biotin as a supplement, as a pill, or shampoo. So I figured why not get the shampoo. Um, I got this from Amazon. Let me see this, y'all. Ooh, that smells that smells medicated. Um, I'm nervous, y'all. Allow two to three minutes for therapeutic absorption. I'm gonna test this out on my husband first and then I'm gonna try it, okay? Again, the Biotin Shampoo, and this is by, it's Honeydew, it's the smell, but I don't smell anything. I, it doesn't say who it's by. Oh, by Honeydew, girl. So yeah, that's that. We have Jane Carter's Hydrate Creamy Leave-In Styling Smoother. I absolutely love this leave-in. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna set her aside because I'm gonna tell you what I plan on doing with several of my leave-in conditioners, okay? Giovanni, direct leave-in. We're gonna put her aside because I'm gonna show you. Uh, what else do I have? 
I have some jojoba oil, okay? Y'all have to excuse the camera. For some reason, my settings are way off. This is a new one. I was speaking, I've been speaking to a fellow YouTuber, Angel, AKA, um, I always get, get your YouTube name mixed up. I always went backwards. Nezzy Napcho, Napcho Nezzy. She has been using a different type, uh, Lano Lusters. It is Mark's Lano Lusters olive oil intense conditioning for moisture starved hair and scalp she's she hasn't tried the olive oil one before but i told her i'm gonna i told her i would do an official review of it so i will review this product you guys it smells like hair grease oh girl i just got a flashback of getting getting a whooping it's 1987 and i see i see um banana clips and whoopings <laughs> oh that's what it smells like Speaking of hair grease, along the same, we have the old school Blue Magic uh, hair and scalp conditioner. Now, I won't be officially reviewing this um, or using this as much. I'm going to try this on JB's hair, okay? This is what I got this for. Along the same line of Blue Magic, Argan Oil Herbal Complex Leave-In Conditioner, okay? I'm excited about this. Mmm, that, that 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 has something. I wanna, it's purple, very creamy. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and, this is very creamy. Oh yes, my hair is going to love her, definitely. Now, I will say you guys, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, don't they have petroleum oil and minerals oil? Yes, definitely the, the Hollywood Beauty, yes. Def I haven't even looked at the, the uh, ingredients on this. Yes, second ingredient is mineral oil. <laughs> so yes, I say if it works for your hair, baby, it works for your hair. Um, then up next, we have some TGIN products. I purchased, because I'm running, I feel like I'm running low on stylus. <laughs> Don't judge me, y'all. I have less than 100 products. That's a lot, that's a lot. Yesterday, I counted 97 products. With That's without these included. With all of this, we're over 100. In my opinion, that's not a lot. I'm just gonna be honest. For someone who was doing um, product reviews, consistently product reviews, to have under 100 products is pretty damn good. There was a point in my life where I easily had half of that in cleansing products. Yeah, about two years ago, I remember counting like 45 bottles of conditioner. So I needed some more stylus. So we have the TGIN Buttercream Daily Moisturizer. I prefer this over her Twist and Define Cream because it is, oh, Christia, this is a different consistency from what I'm used to. It didn't use, it used to be thicker than this. Am, am I, am I, now it's been a while since I've tried the buttercream. I've been using the TGIN, excuse me, the Twist and Define Cream. I don't remember it being this creamy. I'm not complaining, but excuse me, I don't remember the consistency being this runny. We're gonna move on and try it, girl. Fix your face, girl, fix your face. Lord, y'all. And then we have the Moisture Rich Sulfate Free Shampoo. Now, this will be a part of the comparison series. I will be comparing that. Do I, have I shown y'all this before already? I don't know, girl. I will be comparing this along with the Swabs Sulfate Free. And last but not least, y'all, why, why didn't y'all? I don't know. When I be ordering stuff, when I be, I'm oh, sorry, looking at JB, when I be ordering stuff on Amazon, I just be looking at the products. Clearly, I'm not looking at the quantity or size because I did not realize that I ordered a 32 ounce of olive vera juice. <laughs> oh my God. Um, this is the Lily of the Desert and this is gluten-free, this is heavy y'all, gluten-free, certified organic, non-GMO, preservative free. When it says that, you have to refrigerate it once it is opened. So, let me start putting some of this stuff back you guys. I'm gonna be making a version of the Kim A Tubes leave-in recipe. When I tell you her leave-in is everything, I'm going to link down below the official recipe. But while I have y'all on the line, I'm gonna go ahead and put her together right now because um, I have everything in front of me. Now, I'm going back to basics. I'm going back to what I used to do around the three, four year mark when I was natural. My hair was healthy as hell. It was around this length too, a little bit shorter than this. 
um, around the four year mark. It was around this month. Those of you don't know, I've been natural now. It'll be eight years in um, April, this April. So anyway, I primarily use the Kim A Tubes Leave-In. I use my Suave VO5. I use the Queen Helen. I mean, very basic, affordable stuff. Um, I did use uh, Jane Carter, and um, I started using Christia when she came out. Sorry, uh, TGIN stuff when she came out. Um, but Jane Carter was my go-to, and it's everyday stuff you could find at the grocery store at your local um, like Walmart or Target. So I'm gonna go ahead and put together the Kim A tubes. Let me see if I can open this up here. Now the Kim A tubes leave-in typically calls for several different type of oils. The um, what is her what is the name, y'all? Kinky Not Today, that Not Today Detangler. It's very affordable through Amazon. It's like $11. If you get it at the store, it's like $14, $15. Again, I will link her official video because everyone does it differently. All right. You can drink this with it. Now, the whole um, reason why this particular leave-in works so well is because of the pH balance in it. So what I'm going to do, and by the way, once I'm done with this, I'm going to switch over to Jane Carter's, okay? And I'm putting this in a, this is uh, one of these 30 second Twisted Sisters curl spray. By the way, I can't find a curl spray she used to have. It was like cucumber or something. It was the bond.com. So y'all, I'm going to do, I don't know. Oh, I'm getting it everywhere. Um, I like my consistency that of, like a leave-in but i don't know how to put it you know that icing you put on pound cake <laughs> okay vivian seriously like the icing that you put on a lemon pound cake that's the consistency i like it i know i got a comment on one of my videos on whether or not i would do a tutorial on my hair on mixture i'm not going to um it changes though. It changes depending on the current condition of my hair, depending on the weather. Now that it's a little bit cooler, it is thicker, so there's more castor oil in it. There's more jojoba, excuse me, um, olive oil. Um, sometimes I add grape seeds, sometimes, grape seed oil, excuse me. Sometimes I add more sweet almond. This go around for my leave-in, I add it, just right now I added one tablespoon of that, and then I like to do another tablespoon of jojoba oil. Excuse me, yeah, of the leave-in. Top it off with some more of this leave-in. Wait, and now I'm gonna pour in the aloe vera. Let's see where I'm at. If you just have a little bit, let's see what this is. Yes. Use it for a leave-in spray like I'm doing now. But see how it's a little, see how it's, you can see it. Um, let me look at, show y'all the consistency. See, told you, pound cake icing. <laughs> Smells good. That is it. I feel like, yeah, I can see that. I'm gonna smooth that in here soon. I feel like I don't need to buy anything else for a while. I say that, and then I was at the store, just. Yeah, we, we, we ain't doing all that, boo boo. Okay, bye, go sit, have a seat. I'll see you in a minute. I am. I'm excited to be trying a couple of these products, but I definitely would be coming back if I don't review it, officially review it, which more than likely I won't. Um, I would definitely be coming back and let you know how my regimen is going, okay? Thank you so much for watching, and thank you as always to all of my new subscribers. Take care. Bye.